Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. My name is Muhammad Asim. I'm working as DevOps engineer. In this video, I'm going to show you how you, we can use the Bitnami Seal secrets. And I'm going to give you the easy demonstration with regard to the deployment of uh, Bitnami uh, Seal secrets. What are these Seal secrets? Uh, these uh, are just like asymmetric keys based on the private and public uh, key pair, just like we do SSH. So uh, this is just the basic. And with regard to the installation of uh, Bitnami C secrets, um, you know, um, in previous video, I've already shown you guys how to deploy the EKS cluster. You can use uh, Bitnami C secrets in any cluster, rather, uh, whether it is running on EKS or your local cluster on GK, wherever it is, you can use the Bitnami C secrets. So, what I have done, I spin up my EKS cluster, and in this cluster, I will be uh, installing the uh, the quiet uh, with regard to the Bitnami seal secrets. So um, what you have to do simply copy this link and paste it here. So you will be uh, uh, navigated to the Bitnami seal secrets. From here we are going to uh, navigate to the latest release. Click on this release and you will be then uh, shifted to this part. Here is the uh, installation part. There is a client side and there is a cluster side. From for client side, you can install the latest, uh, for instance, the latest um, client side CLI, uh, which is the cube seal uh, CLI. You can install that. Copy this command. I've already installed this, so you have to simply copy this. Uh, um, for demonstration, I will be installing in front of you again, but uh, I've already installed this. So these are the basic commands uh, you can use this and uh, I'm not uh, going to uh, find sudo because uh, i'm using the container so simply uh, use this command so uh, you see cube uh, cube seal and dash dash version this is the client side we are the client side so you see this is the version 16 installed that is how simple it is this is the client side and this is the cluster side so i have my cluster up and running so what you have to do is to simply copy this command uh, i've already provided the uh, demonstration here so so you can use the this is the cluster side so i have my cluster up and running so what i will be doing i will be simply copy this command and paste here you will um, uh, command okay you will find uh, some address with regard to the let me show you that kubectl get get nodes no white make sure your cluster should be up and running so okay the, the issue in this command is the dollar sign okay so i'm going to simply remove this dollar sign so what it does, uh, it is in, install the cube uh, um, Bitnami seal secret uh, on the server side, which is your Kubernetes cluster. You will uh, get some warnings, but ignore uh, these warnings. Um, and what it does, it is going to install the server side uh, part of the Bitnami seal secrets. So demonstration is available on these uh, official sites. So that is how simple it is to install the uh, client side which is you uh, you are going to install the cli cube seal cli this is the one we have already installed with the latest version and this is the uh, cluster side we have installed it so um, that how easy it is and uh, with regard to the different cloud providers you can read the demonstration so uh, process is going to be the pretty much same so uh, i've already provided you the link with regard to that you should always navigate to this link for the latest version of the cli and then what i will be doing uh, i have done some um, work for you guys with regard to the creation of this so we are going to create um, one secret with multiple values so simply you can use this command uh, this is the dry run command what i will be doing uh, first of all uh, i will be creating a namespace so redmin is the namespace so i've already created the namespace so uh, first of all let me show you kubectl uh, get um, all 
and all namespaces so we uh, able to see all the deployments in all namespaces um, so we should be able to see that our um, cluster side uh, deployment with regard to the bitnami seal secrets uh, are going to be uh, done so this is the seal secret controller is up and running so now what i'm going to do so first of all uh, let's do kubectl get namespaces you will be see that uh, this redmi namespace is already created so if i paste this command you will see it will uh, it will tell me that okay it's not copied let me copy this so it will uh, tell me that this name say spaces already exists so i'm going to do the dry run what dry run is this i will be creating the redmi create uh, generic secrets these are the values uh, these are dollar my sequel where these come from uh, as i told you you can give this plain text as well uh, but instead of uh, giving a plain text i'm fetching these values from aws secret manager you can put your actual plain text values for instance uh, what i will be doing that i'm going to store this rds env file so what it is uh, in the um, rds env file i've provided all the files to you guys so uh, i have also put the note here and the note uh, says you can put the plain text values here so these values are currently fetched from e aws secret manager so if i navigate to aws secret manager you see these are the values and uh, i'm going to uh, simply uh, retrieve retrieve the secret values and you will see that these are the values <coughs> i'm uh, i put the regex here so uh, let me show you that part so so if i do ls you will see that uh, if you navigate to bitnami uh, seal secrets okay if i do ls you will see rds env so if i cut out the contents of rds env uh, and if i do source rds env okay let me um, uh, convert this dos to unix as it is uh, actually uh, stored on the host machine on windows so what i will be doing i will be converting this file and i'm going to source it so it is going to fetch the values from the uh, uh, secret manager and it is going to store in those values so instead of uh, manually putting the values uh, i'm fetching from uh, <coughs> aw secret manager but this is just a additional step there is no such requirement that you should do for instance if i do um, echo dollar the value for instance if i do the value of redmin mysql so you can put it on a plain text and uh, as this value is going to be uh, sealed in aws uh, sorry bitnami seal secrets so i should put the dollar sign here as well so this is the uh, actually end point of that uh, redmin mysql so these are the values i am going to fetching from um aw secret managers so anyway uh, this is some ad uh, additional part this is not required anyway uh, what i will be doing uh, you can use the rd script to create multiple values uh, uh, i mean i've created a shell script for you guys instead of creating manually you can use uh, the script to do all the stuff and you can change according to your uh, requirement so anyway uh, I'm doing it manually to show you all the step. So what I will be doing, I will be first uh, creating a dry run, and it is going to give me a JSON output. And uh, let me show you that how it looks like. So, so I'm going to simply paste this uh, value here, and it is going to give us the JSON output. So you see, I'm storing uh, uh, multiple values in a single uh, single. Um, our redmin rd scripts so um, these are actually base 4 encoded but it is um, but these are actually <clears throat> decrypted by uh, the redmin uh, sorry um, bitnami seal secrets so uh, okay what i will be doing next and let me let me get to the command so what i will be doing now i am going to store this value and um, uh, I'm going to pipe these values in cube seal as these are the values uh, previously we actually fetched and put in a 
A64 encoded value and I'm going to pipe in into cube seal and and I'm going to um, then uh, pipe into the Redmi secret YAML so it will give us the encrypted format so if I run this command here in the terminal and I will be show I'll be showing you the file as well so what it does it will create the you see uh, the public keys for these uh, uh, secrets and these uh, secrets are going to be only encrypted by uh, this um, um, cluster uh, controller uh, by Bitnami. So uh, let me show you uh, this part. So if I navigate to uh, this one, so you you will see that uh, one file is going to be created. Now we can put this file in our uh, GitHub as well. So let me show you uh, this file. So this is the uh, Redmi secret YAML file. This file is just created uh, uh, as we run this command. So we can put this. Uh, these are the public keys, and these are going to be uh, decrypted only by uh, a Bitnami seal uh, secret controller to the private uh, keys. So uh, also, I'm going to show you other command as well. Uh, so if I navigate to the uh, Bitnami secret, so uh, let me show you this part as well so first of all let me show you the secrets uh, kubectl get secrets in namespace redmin okay i have not actually applied the uh, applied it let me actually apply as well so I have to add one command here as well. So kubectl kubectl apply hyphen f and I'm going to put the name of the file. So I'm going to add this uh, file here and and I, it is going to be in namespace uh, redmin. I'm going to update this one. So I'm going to add this command in the repository. Okay, for you guys. So I missed it. So I'm going to create it now. So because I was unable to see the secret in my namespace Redmin because uh, those were not applied. So I'm going to apply this command. It is now created. If I run that previous uh, previous command again, you will be able to see that these upgrades are now available. So what I will be doing simply, I'm going to copy this command, and you will uh, be able to see the base64 version of this. So as I told you, uh, this file you can put on. Uh, um, this is the base 64 encoded version of our secrets. But uh, what we can do, uh, we are going to store this file. As you see, this is the public key of that particular um, secrets which we have stored. So uh, this is going to be actually decrypted by this certificate. So if you fetch the cert you will be able to see the private key which is going to be um, to the decryption part of your secret so anyway that is it guys uh, from my side um, if you like the video please like share and subscribe and that is it all uh, from my side i will be updating uh, this command and as you see uh, this file is very much secure and that uh, this is the missing piece you can add in your um, github uh, so you can follow the GitOps approach by you know deploying your application uh, through the GitOps way and uh, definitely you can use uh, uh, different tools uh, like um, for ci cd argo cd and all that stuff so uh, this is quite a bit much more easier as compared to uh, the secret manager and uh, it is pretty much convenient and easy to deploy. If you like the video, please like, share and subscribe. Thank you very much. Have a nice day.